live from Centurion Sports again. I know it's been a while since I've done any reviews, but um, I came across a site and I wanted to try them and see the quality of the gloves that they were um, selling. So um, I actually found out about the site via a customer asking if I order from, from them already. And I said, no, I didn't order from them. Um, then I, upon watching some um, YouTube channels, right, I realized that um, one of the guys that was doing reviews, he ordered from the channel already, or from the um, site already, and I felt a little safer to do business with them, knowing that somebody else did business with them and was pleased with the item that he bought, right? So I gave it a, 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 a try. I ordered um, two pairs of gloves, one that I will review right now, and one that um, I will review later on, probably in a few days or next week right um <clears throat> so right away the um the site is a site from india and i ordered a pair of right hand test grade batting gloves right but no brand no branding just uh plain gloves so right away the gloves came in a well in, in packaging obviously right and i got um uh, just a box a uh, normal cardboard box right um these are the bags of the bag that came with the glove, right? A normal plastic drawstring bag. Not ventilated, right? Right, and these were the gloves. Nice. Yeah, look at that there. Right, as you can see, plain white, no additional colors. It's just a very simple pair of gloves. I must say, in the packaging also came a pair of white cotton inners um, these were on top of the um, the box as you open the box the first thing you greeted with was this pair of inners um, one for each glove obviously um, as I saw this I, 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 I was a little afraid because the quality of this didn't look you know like premium it looked like something that you would probably get from a low end pair of gloves so I was a little worried with the quality of the gloves per se based on the inners so i proceeded a little skeptically but then once i opened the, the drawstring bag and i got the gloves and them out right i must say i was ex and i am extremely impressed by the quality of this glove right for it being a no brand there's a simple all white glove it's fantastic the test it is twist quality i must say um the glove is a spit, spit finger glove and that offers great flexibility in the fingers. It's a pitard palm, right? And for those who don't know what pitards are, there are three different types of materials we generally use in cricket gloves. They are calfskin leather, sheepskin leather, and pitards, right? So pitards is also a leather, but it's um, tanned leather that is also put through another process that enables um, water vapor or sweat as the case might be to be absorbed through the material right i guess somewhat like what um nike uses and adidas uses in their dry fit technology and um adidas uses in their climber light or climber cool as the case may be right technology so petards generally dry a lot faster and the moisture doesn't hold or stay in the leather right as we all know all who have played cricket over a period of time leather tends to get stiff as it dries when it after it's wet right and that causes the glove to rip tear burst you understand and become stiff and hard you know that's an uncomfortable feeling and also it diminishes the life of the glove so pitards generally supposed to be more durable and give you a superior feel and comfort over an extended period of time of use right so um the gloves basically have the all the things that you would get in any other grade one glove that you would buy in any other brand um, protection in all segments of the finger right extra protection um, fiberglass or plastic shielding in the four fingers right as we say pitard palms ventilation you know ventilation on the sides ventilation on the tongue inner tongue holes for ventilation in the palm and fingers right um, sidebar protection on both sides nice 
um, nice leather top, not not material, leather top, right? On your top hand, right? A nice thick elastic, very thick and stretchy elastic band, right? Thick velcro enclosure, also toweling on the inside for that extra comfort and padding. A split finger thumb, right? For comfort and flexibility. And they are true to size. This is a men's right hand, and this fits perfectly for me. Alright, so as you say, the quality of the glove looks great and feels fantastic, but we also need to test these gloves to find out if it is the glove doesn't just look good, but it also performs well, does what it's supposed to do, which is give you protection from um, deliveries or cricket, cricket, cricket ball, right? And how it holds up in terms of durability, right? So that is the things that we need to, to find out to ensure that these gloves are worth the price that we paid for them, right? Um, all in all, if you have any questions with regards to the video today or anything else with regards to cricket equipment, please feel free to send a message to Centurion Sports. Um, I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Please like and subscribe to this video. If you didn't like this video, check another one. See if you find anything valuable or useful. And check me out on IG at Centurion Sports or Facebook at the same Centurion Sports. And have a good day.